Welcome to the third part of the Envimet Getting Started tutorial series. In this part, we would like to explain how Envimet works with databases. The database logic consists of three different types of databases. The system database, the user database, and the project database. The system database cannot be edited by the user. However, here you can find the basic dataset provided by Envimet. The user database and the project database, on the other hand, can be edited by the user. The difference between these two is that the elements in the user database can be used in any of the user's projects. The elements of the project database can only be used in a specific project. Remember that if you want to use a project database, you need to check the relevant checkbox in the Workspace Manager as mentioned in the last video. The system database contains all basic elements you can use in your model area. If you want to modify the attributes of these elements, you must create copies in the user or project database. Your set of usable elements for your model area can then be modified. If there are two elements with the same ID in different databases, Envimet prefers the project or user database element over the system database element. To make this more clear, we have prepared a little example. As you can see, the system database contains three elements with the IDs XX, YY and ZZ. The project database also contains an element with the ID XX and one with the ID AA. Our set of available elements now consists of YY and ZZ out of the system database and XX and AA out of the project database. Since we have worked on optimizing the attributes of certain elements, we have created two ID types to differentiate between the sets of elements with the new optimized attributes and the old ones. You will therefore find legacy IDs with the format 0000XX and the standard IDs with the format 0100XX. That's it for the third part, and in the following video of this series, we will explain the database manager. Thank you for watching, and if you like, you can visit our website or check out our other tutorials here on YouTube.